make sure the patient is in a comfortable position. Yep. I've only covered as, uncovered as much as I need to to maintain the dignity. And I'm also going to need to make sure that the patient's in a good position for me to be able to access the room. And also at a good working height. So now I'm going to assess the dressing. And I do not see any shadowing on the dressing itself. It looks like it's all clear. And I document that. The blue line is still blue. All right. Starting from the edge of the Making sure that I do it one of these so it's not being ripped. Just the tape. Hi, my name is Hannah. Pulling up towards the middle. Pressing up like a pressing machine. I do not see any discharge on here, so it's clear. What if those were sticky? I would probably wet them first if they were sticky, just to make sure that we don't pull up any of the nice granulation tissue. And great. See any kind of escar or slough in there for any discharge of any kind? We'll go from the least contamination to the greatest. I would spray like that and dab the tissues in there. And then with a new dry gauze, I would dab again just to make sure we don't have any uh, residue in there. So from the longest point to the longest point here, and that to me looks like it's about 13 and a quarter centimeters deep. I can see that it is about sterile cotton applicator. To do this, I'm going to put the applicator like this and enter at the deepest point that I see in the wound. Flush to my fingers and measure that on the centimeter ruler, which is turning out to be about two centimeters if necessary, and put that in there. So I'll pack with our new wet gauze. You want it damp or moist, not wet. Damp. Oh, yeah, not wet, because that would <laughs> that would remove tissue and change it later. And then we're gonna put some dry gauze on top of that. Also the new sterile stuff. Covering the room like that. Alright. Bandage. Covering. Up. Taping, I would document, I would write on the bandage itself the date, my initial, and I would document in the EH jar how many uh, pieces of gauze I used at the site of the wound. Like under my, if there was any discharge, I would document the discharge. That there would be any slough or scar, and I would cover the patient back up. And then we've covered as much as we needed to to begin with, and making sure the patient is comfortable. Alright, you're dressing went very well, and you appear to have no infection going on right now. And we'll have the doctor see you soon.